Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John Coleman and I are speaking to the Embrace the Boom creator, Bill Jordan. Hey, do Bill. Hey, Bill. Good to see you. Hi, guys. I'm Embracing the Boom, and I hope you are. <laughs> very, very much. Hey, um, you know, uh, I'm not a tech guy. Art is the tech guy. Tech does the internet stuff for us and all right, that. Right. Let, me, let, let me interrupt here. We're sort of like a perfect example in the land of the blind, the one-eyed guy is king. But yeah, I'm the tech guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, are you into tech? Do you buy the newest iPhone and yada, 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 that kind of stuff? I, get, I, I buy a new phone when the old one craps out or it gets so full of stuff and I'm running out of memory or the battery won't stay charged. <clears throat> that's when I that's when I get a new phone. Uh, I had yes. a 6S. I had a, uh, an iPhone 6S uh, forever until just a few months ago. And then I got the 13 Pro and I figure I can write it off for doing my uh, Embrace the Boom YouTube videos and stuff yeah. like that. So uh, but I, but I needed it. So I got the and I went with the iPhone because I'm, I'm talking to you right now on a Mac Pro. So I try to keep everything Apple. It's yeah. not that I, I mean, but I know my, people who are. They're Windows people, and they're all about they hate Mac. So that's just. Yep. The, but I, but a regular tech guy, no, I, I'm not a whole lot into it. Uh, I will be given something. Uh, for example, my uh, daughter and, and son-in-law for Christmas gave me the ring. You know, the front door, the thing. Oh yeah, your phone, yeah. The video. You've got you've got someone at your door. Yeah. It's still in the box by my chair. <laughs> it, it 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 just is. My wife gave me a robotic one of those robotic vacuum cleaners. Um, uh, we called her Hazel. We've got a name for her now, but she's the one that got it open and got it. It's like when I look at a manual of anything that's tech, yeah. it is as if all the words explode off the page at once. And it's like, I can't just take, I'm overwhelmed by, by some of that technology. But when you think, and I harken back talking about when my daughter gave us this gift, taking her to find her first car and we put her in a Toyota Corolla and she looked down and she went, what's this thing? What's oh. this thing? <laughs> and you sure. roll the window, you roll the window, oh. you do what? You oh. roll the window down. Oh, she right. had no idea. She had never seen that before. That's right? high or tech, she, honey. Yeah, so that was high tech for her. So then, you know, then then she got into a U drive, and that was that was the end of that. She never looked at that Corolla again. But we look at that kind of tech. Think about his kids. You remember you had the phone, you had the landline phone with the cord, and then all of a sudden your mom or dad came home with this 14 foot extension cord. It's like, oh my gosh, yeah. the world opened up. You could take a phone call in the in the hallway now. Yeah, that was tech. That was high tech. Yeah, nobody thought about cell phones. Yeah, nobody thought about that, or even color TV when color TV came on. You remember your yeah. first color TV? It's like, oh my gosh, yep. you know. So that was tech then, and then we got into the cell phones. Then we had our flip. Well, first I had a bag phone. You remember the bag phones? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and it was as, it was like a walkie-talkie. It was yeah. as big as the yeah. you know. It and was, so you had yeah. that. Then you had the flip phones, and now you got the ones. Oh, with wait, the wait, 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 wait. The flip phone. Now that's nostalgia. The best phone oh. I ever owned. It was <laughs> it worked, okay, and, and you put it in your pocket. It, it could actually fit in a pocket, and uh, they just yeah. kept going forever. I really sad the day I gave it up for one of those uh, uh, smartphones. Yeah, the smart one. Well, you know, back when, and I did the same thing. Man, all I want the thing to do is to is to make a call with. Mm. Yeah. And the first time I got a text, I didn't know what. I thought my phone had become possessed. I didn't know anything about texting. All of a sudden, <laughs> someone is sending me a message. What is this? And what do yeah. I do with this? How do I respond? But you know, the the uh, that tech is now you now you got everything on your phone. It's amazing, and we call it a phone, but it's a computer. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you can do any. And while I say I'm not a tech guy, but I'm pretty. I mean, I'm still. We're watching a movie at night on tech. You know, streaming service. We're watching Netflix or something. And my wife will say, you know, this is a typical conversation when you get older. Are they still alive? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. I think they died. So we're watching the movie. So I'm IMDb or I'm Wikipediaing this actor or actress. Oh no, they they died in 2019 in November. So I mean, and that's on the phone. It's yeah. on the phone. 
It's yeah. it's just it's crazy. And also, Somebody, uh, nobody has a camera anymore. Just got a, Everybody's camera is the phone. Oh, beyond yeah. that, one right. just got her um, wristwatch. I I Apple wristwatch or whatever it is. So she's talking into her wrist now. I said, oh, oh. Dick Tracy. She Dick said, Tracy. Oh, who's Dick, Dick Tracy? Tracy. Who's yeah. Dick Tracy. Well, here's a conspiracy theory that's going on, and I'll, I'll share it with you. I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy, but it's like, okay, our technology, we've gone to, uh, you know, looking at it. I'm looking at, like, on my, my, my laptop here, screen, on Mac Pro. All right, then we're gone, we've gone to carrying it. Then we've gone to wearing it on our wrist. Yeah. Then, you know, they, they were doing the Google glasses. They've got the eyeglasses, I guess, with like the HUD, the heads up display on the lens while oh. you're trying to walk and talk. You've got messages coming across your eyes. Then the next thing that they're talking about, and I think they've done this in Sweden already, there is an implant in the brain. Now. I'm just telling you. So the theory uh. is, and the nefarious, the, the nefarious theory is, if this is just going to be like an Amazon or a Google or something like that, running this implant thing, will they not be able to control your thoughts? We've already seen that Twitter, Facebook, you know, social media, Instagram are definitely in that game of manipulation of the masses. Um, so that, that's the only place I can, you know, where is it, where is technology going to go? So my daughter now is, I mean, she's, she's great with all this was my grandson, you know, he's 15, anything you need. It, okay. You do this poppy. And he's doing code to me that I have no clue what it even means. I've got to Google it to de we, he and I make codes up and send to each other. So he actually uses like code to make code. Uh, so I've, yeah, I've got to Google it to decipher stuff. Um, but what's it going to be for him? What are they going to be doing? You know, he's he's going to be saying down the road, oh, yeah, my 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 papa used to have a phone that he kept in his pocket. And then people are going, you're kidding me. How did they do that? How do you know? That's stupid. Where's it going, guys? Where's it well, going? Well, a far be it for me to contribute to a conspiracy theory. <laughs> but I want to put something in your head. Because the truth is out there. So listen okay. to this. In New York and L.A., we have hundreds and hundreds of people just walking the streets, talking, we think, to themselves. Hmm. But are they really just talking to themselves? Hey, John, when we were growing up in New think York City, it. when we were growing up in New York City, okay, we had people like that also, except you tended to stay away from them. Yeah. <laughs> Now you and assume, maybe they want it that way, you, Art. You, you assume that they're on. But, that, yeah. you know, I, I would say that, you know, this is Embrace the Boom. We're with our, you know, getting to the roots of what's really important. Um, and quite frankly, they had me at Abacus. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it worked. Sure, well, it worked. The of, only thing I couldn't do in Roman I, I can't use an Abacus. I, it's too complicated for me. I need my phone. Yeah, by the way, I had a problem with the slide rule, which is why I, uh, I never, out of I, I never could never could figure out slide rule. But again, you know, and it's a it's a it's a common kind of humorous observation online of the social media. It's like I hold in my hand one of the powers of everybody. I mean, anything I want to know, I can look up on here. I can see videos, evidence, all this stuff. And what do we do? We post pictures of our dinner on social media. That's what we do with it. <laughs> well, well that's, given that, that's given that thought, that I think is a good time for us to say, let's embrace low tech. This is the perfect example of it never goes out of style. Okay, I don't care if they start giving us intravenous uh, coffee. Not going to be the same as nope. smelling the roses. It's not. Yeah. And this, that by the way, is, is 15 ounces, holds 15 ounces of whatever you want to put in it, not just coffee. I tend to use coffee, uh, hot chocolate or whatever you want to put it, hot toddy, whatever. Um, but yeah, man, I hope uh, they never replace coffee with something else. It's just some, that's, that's, that's part of my morning ritual is my coffee. So um, yeah, the low tech, but you know, a little bit of new tech is not a bad thing. So uh, I, I'm just, I'm just not... I'm not in love with it or attached to new tech, but so well, I think that we can all agree. Take this call. 
Hello. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm wrong? Uh, excuse me. I, I'll, I'll call you back. I can't do that because I actually have coffee in mind, so I can't listen to the <laughs> unless I want to listen to Juan Valdez uh, yeah. pulling the little guys off the the trees up in the mountains of Peru. But uh, I think go. with all of that, uh, one thing we can be thankful for is that our generation has adapted to watching us on the internet, and so that they can fully embrace our boom. It's amazing, isn't it? It really is. It really Thank is. you, gentlemen. So, thank you all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.